Now, losing the funding for your town's comedy festival is no laughing matter, of course, but that is what happened in Southport when the council cuts threatened its future. Yes, but 16 small business owners have clubbed together to stand up for stand up, and they're sponsoring. Did you write the... that yourself? No, I didn't actually. Yeah. But whoever did was very, very, very witty. Very witty. Uh, <laughs> they're now sponsoring the event themselves. Nina Warhurst reports. Welcome, welcome, welcome up the port. Like what does a local like stand-up do when well, his well, town's well, comedy well, festival well, looks like it's for the well, chop? Well, he puts the show on himself with lots of public support. Fantastic. Is anyone from Southport? Give me some noise. <laughs> Two of you, that's brilliant. Happy <laughs> In fact, all of Southport's behind the festival, from builder to solicitor, from dentist to jeweller, have put in around £500 to sponsor the festival themselves. Why do you think people have been so keen to get involved? I think... Um, we're, we're, we're kind of fed up with all the cutbacks, to be honest with you. And instead of just moaning about it, we've decided to go, right, let's make this thing happen, let's stick together, work together as a team, and let's get, make the festival happen, you know? And it's worked. Well, let's hope so. It has. Sarah Millican will be at the Southport Theatre next Wednesday and being flown in all the way from Manchester this Sunday, Jason Manford and Justin Morehouse. I think Brendan Riley is a saint. Uh, he's taken this on and some people are saying he's just doing it to give work for himself, but I don't agree with them. Justin, Jason and Brendan are all performing in a Help for Heroes fundraiser this Sunday and there are still tickets available. Will I be the funniest? Uh, I don't know. I'll let the people decide that. I don't know. It's not about the funny, it's about how much money we raise for Help, the Help for Heroes. I, I will be the funniest. Nina Warhurst, BBC Northwest Tonight. I think he's still trying to convince Nina at the end there, isn't he? He didn't stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> be a good show. Um,